That's a good shot. Oh, I'm convinced it's going to be a drawn test match. Make it 550 up, and he declares. No one gave us a chance of winning the test match. It was going to be a boring draw. Before the warm-up, John Buchanan um, and Ricky Ponning pulled the whole team together for a team meeting in the, in the dressing rooms. And that didn't happen very often. They spoke very directly to the team and said, right, we can win this game, but everyone in this room has to believe we can win this game. And I almost like chuckled, I thought, yeah, sure, mate. And he said, right, we've got to figure out What's the best way about going to win this game? We've got two options. We can either go all out attack, set attacking fields, just go for wickets every single ball, try and knock them over as quickly as we possibly can and then chase down whatever runs they get. Or we can go the other option. We can just try and strangle them. Maybe set defensive fields a little bit, but just don't give them any runs whatsoever. And as a team, that's the way we decided to go. And, and you could see it in Ricky's eyes and John Buchanan's eyes that the belief started to grow. And, and you could look around the room and, and the boys started to think, hmm, OK, maybe we can. We've got a plan of how we're going to win this game. And I started to believe as well. Shane Warne bowled for two sessions, non-stop from one end. He was just phenomenal. And then that enabled Ricky just to rotate the quicks around from the other end. And they did a great job. We got the ball to reverse swing a bit. We got a lucky wicket early. I think Strauss was probably unlucky to be, to be out off Warney. And then we got a run out. And you could just feel the tension of England, who were just looking just to survive, really. And that played perfectly into our, into our plan. and you could feel the pressure building. We got another wicket, we got another one, and, and suddenly the crowd started to get involved as well, and, and we started to get more belief, and England started to get more tense. <laughs> so the way that whole day played out was just amazing, and it says a lot about the, the attitude of our leaders, in Ricky and John and, uh, and Shane Warne, to make everyone believe, have a very clear plan, and then the attitude we took out on the ground to, to believe we could actually win that game. It's Matthew Hayden and Justin Langer come out to an extraordinary roll here at the Adelaide. Everybody has the hairs up on their back of their neck. I was really nervous, you know, because we'd got ourselves, when we started our second innings, we'd got ourselves in a position where we, we could possibly win this test match out of nowhere, you know, like no one gave us a chance of winning the test match. It was going to be a boring draw. So I remember feeling incredibly nervous, thinking, wow, we've got a chance. So I was praying that, you know, Hados and um, JL would get us off to a flyer. Ricky had been in amazing touch, that he would, they'd get us home and I could just sit back and relax and, and just watch the run chase. Bang! What a shot. Magnificent shot through mid-wicket. Pressure right on England now. There's always a, a twist in every tail. In the air, should be out. Mid-wicket coming around. Once you sort of get out there and get in, involved in the game and, and sort of playing, it, it sort of takes your mind off all those nerves and, and the stress and pressure. And, and, and I really enjoyed being out there and listening to the crowd grow and counting down the score as we were getting closer and, and things like that. It's embarrassing for England, really. But then I remember getting hit with another massive surge of nerves when we needed about five runs to win. Because that, that was the realisation to me that we're actually going to win this game. And, and I was desperate then to be out there in the middle you know, to be part of this <coughs> famous victory. So with five to go, I'm thinking, please, I really want to be out here. <laughs> and thankfully got a four away and thinking, come on, one, one more run. And then, yeah, it was, it's, it's still to this day probably the best feeling I've ever had on a cricket field. Yeah.